The past two seasons, the Lakers have been getting ridiculous preferential treatment from the NBA refs. They have by far the largest free throw disparity and it isn't even close, with the Knicks being in second with 650 less free throws. To make matters worse, the Lakers are 27th in drives to the basket and 22nd in paint touches, so they're attacking less but shooting an insane amount of free throws, leaving NBA coaches in disbelief. He had to win tonight? If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. I can sit here and rant and rave about what I feel like is not a fair whistle. There were just certain things that were impossible to overcome. Um, a 27 free throw differential is one, and a 17 foul differential is the other. I, I might comment on the, uh, the free throws that they shot, but my mom is here right now, and I, I want to be on my best behavior, so I'm, I'm not going to uh, comment on the 43 free throws to our uh, 16. Now I could show you a bunch of bad calls that benefit the Lakers, but that wouldn't prove my point. All NBA teams have to deal with an inconsistent whistle, and every game is officiated differently. But for the Lakers, it's that they're awarded free throws more often for the same or even less contact than their opponents. That's why you see the Lakers shooting 23 free throws in a quarter while the Raptors only shot 13 for the entire game. Or you see a 43 to 16 difference for the Lakers over the Pacers. And let's not forget last season, the Lakers had a 46 to 20 advantage on the Suns in a win, while the previous matchup, they had a 35 to five advantage in a loss. When the Lakers were asked about getting the most free throws in the NBA and allowing the fewest, they downplayed it, saying they just get fouled a lot and they don't foul the other team. Um, I felt like they fouled and we didn't. But when the shoe was on the other foot and they only shot eight free throws against the Phoenix Suns, they were up in arms. They said not only were the refs being biased against them, but it was the reason they lost the game. But if we look at the Lakers, their chances of winning games heavily relies on how many free throws they shoot. I know that can be said about every NBA team, but it's especially true for the Lakers. Opening the season, they were 14-9 and and were 4th in the league in free throws. After the in-season tournament, they dropped to 17th. They were an average free throw attempt team, and their record was 5-10 and during that stretch. But now, the Lakers are first in free throw attempts way higher than anybody else in the league. They're much better because of it. And the same can be said for last season. They saw a huge increase right before the playoffs in free throw attempts. So to recap this video, the Lakers are one of the worst teams at getting to the basket. Despite that, they shoot the most free throws in the NBA by far. There have been games where the free throw disparity has been so drastic that opposing coaches and players are left in disbelief. The Lakers believe when it happens to them, it's because the refs are being biased and the game is unfair, but when it happens to other teams, it's because they constantly foul and the Lakers don't foul. And in order to win games, the Lakers have to get to the free throw line more than the opposing team, and if they don't, they're probably going to lose. But that's all I have for this video. As always, I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Do you think the Lakers are being favored by the refs? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. NBA content just like this and I'll see you next time.